Evander Holyfield got a world title shot against WBO heavyweight champion Sultan Ibrahimov on October 13, 2007, but lost by a lopsided unanimous decision. Holyfield would take a year-long layoff, but eventually accepted an offer from WBA heavyweight Nikolai Valuev to challenge him for the title on December 20, 2008. Valuev had been WBA heavyweight champ since 2005, having lost it to Ruslan Shigeyev in 2007 and then regaining it by beating John Ruiz in a rematch for the vacant strap in 2008. As in virtually every fight he had been in, the 7-foot, 310-pound Valuev had a distinct size advantage as he was 10 inches taller and nearly 100 pounds heavier than Holyfield. The fight took place in Zurich, Switzerland and Valuev was a whopping, great 10-to-1 favorite. He's done just a little bit of work inside like that. Holyfield is moving pretty well, refusing to stay stationary in front of the champion. He's not thrown that many punches either. His consistent lateral movement is making Valuev look like the older man. This was without question the worst performance of Valuev's career. Valuev gets hit with a counter. Good hook by Holyfield narrowly missed making history by winning his fifth world title and becoming the oldest heavyweight champion in boxing history and instead lost to Valuev by a closely contested and disputed majority decision. And still, wow. WBA. This is, well, I'm shocked, dazed, and amazed. That's the worst officiating I have ever seen.